Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Hey, what are you doing out here? Tax out here. I'm gonna be trespassing. And the ride by the numbers. Breaking news tonight. Coronavirus. 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 Coronavirus pandemic. So here's the deal. A lot of places have shelter in place happening, but right now, this is not a current status for Portland. Legally, we are allowed to go out. So I figured let's get at least one last ride in before we have to only ride inside. So let's go. We have Shadow. First and hopefully not the last Shadow of the day. Wait, where are you going? Traffic is wonderfully mellow. Corona lockdown, Sunday morning. Probably the lowest it'll ever be. Hey, what are you doing out here? Oh man, this thing climbs like a pregnant sow with tar on her feet. Like a slug in a salt bath. Like a stubborn mule. Last night, Ellie and I watched a pretty entertaining movie. I figured I'd share it with you because we're always looking for movies. Maybe you're looking for some movies too. This movie was called Lucky Logan, Logan Luck. It's on Prime, Steven Soderbergh, Sal, bank robbery, humor, dialogue, fucking awesome. You can thank me later, or if you hate it. We had some questions come in about the tire size and clearance on this new setup. Let's go to Timmy Tech Talk to go over the details and specifics. Yeah, thanks Dustin Tech Talk here. We want to give you a brief update on the tire clearance on this rigged rig. Currently we're running Panaracer hard packs. They state 2.1. We measured them out this morning. It is a 55 millimeter centimeter. <sighs> and we've got room for a little bit extra girth if we feel like getting extra pushy. In fact, at the moment we're kind of hating it. Too much cushion for the pushing. It's like goddamn Velcro tires. Thanks Dustin, back to you. Delicious. Eighteen miles, two thousand three hundred and seventy-nine feet of elevation, just to get to the start of the dirt. It's cool to test this rig out, and I know that it has a certain special purpose out there in the world. But this last hour and a half has not been it. Homemade THC CBD capsules. Perfect for those big miles and beautiful vistas. So today's idea was to do a recon ride to connect this section of road that we rode in this ride, but I couldn't remember exactly how we did it. It was like a reason to go out here and explore a little bit. I've got some rough mapping and yeah, well, here, here we go. All right, let the games begin. Man, this fork makes those descents buttery. So buttery. No margarine. Full cholesterol. And then this happened. Uh, huh. How's this? Gosh. Oh, shit. Fixed it. Uh, someone needs to check their limit screws. I feel like all I'm doing is climbing, climbing, climbing. All I'm doing is climbing, climbing. All right, this is exactly why we're here. Let's check the trusty Ride with GPS app. Oh, it's so cool in here. Mystical forest. How's it going? Pretty good, you? Good. Cruising around. I rode in from Portland. I'm 21 miles in. Oh, really? Because I own that lease. Oh, and for real? So, yeah. And so when you go in there, okay. you, you, you get your picture taken and I'll turn it into the police. Okay. Just a sign when it's your lease. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You'll be up there in the right. Where's the camera? <laughs> Down the road. Right there's, or? There's 27 of them in there. Oh, so. shit. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. Well, at least we got the tip on, uh, we just have to conceal our faces when we see the warehouser sign. Good looking out, buddy. I also like how Hummy's drinking a Coors. Something tells me it wasn't his first one today. It's currently 1130. 
<laughs> hey man, it's Sunday. Oh, might have been our turn. Uh, you got it. All right. We got to suit up now. Make sure we're ready for our picture takings. There are two cars parked just up ahead and that's the quickest way out right there. If my luck is good, nobody will be in the cars. If my luck is bad, we get to have a conversation. Uh, let's roll the dice and go that way. I think those are the trucks to the land leasers. All right, officially out of that place. <gasps> oh, yuck, that was disgusting. Having that thing on my face for like an hour. Ugh. Oh yeah, thanks to you guys, we figured it out. It's a Doppler radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Solid loop of rugged radicalness, followed up by a quaint 20 miles of road. like riding a warm-up bat on the pavement. Twice the time, half the distance. That was a little bit harder than expected. Holy cow. This bike is not that fun with 40 road miles. It's much more suited to maybe 40 off-road miles. Now I know. I feel like some of you might be thinking going on a solo ride during the whole coronavirus happening is a little irresponsible. You're not thinking about anybody else. I would say, you're responsible. Sure, yeah, I'll give you that one. But thinking of other people, I decided to go on this ride so that those that are stuck inside could get a little taste of going outside. It's like bicycle methadone. Just a little bit of something to hold you over until everything clears up and we can all go outside and play on our own bikes. And the ride, by the numbers, 48 miles, four hours, eight minutes and 5,311 feet of elevation. And if there was anything that you were curious about, check the links in the descriptions. I got all the links. You like the music, what kind of fork is that, etc., etc. You think anything in there was like, uh, like, you know, like, like likable? Maybe something in there was uh, subscribable. If you're feeling generous and want to support the cause, you like bikes, you like rides, check this out. Sleepless nights, it's Cedra PM.